Hi everybody, welcome to Pilates for Dancers. This is a beginning mat class, so let's get into it. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and lay down on your back. I want you to keep your feet up, and we're just going to do some breathing and some exercises to locate our neutral pelvis and kind of a neutral alignment throughout our core. So first things first, take a deep breath into your belly and exhale. And just keep breathing in and out through the belly, letting the diaphragm expand and contract. This is a place that we, a lot of times people don't want to breathe. You don't want to breathe into your belly and stick it out, but I'm wanting you to just really fully take those inhales and exhales. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Now we're going to move this breath up to the upper body. So I want you to think about breathing into your ribs laterally, so out to the side, and breathing into your back as well. So you're breathing down into the mat and out to the side. You might feel bones start to crack a little bit. Things just get a little crunchy and release. Good, now bring the palms of your hands to your hip bones and your fingertips to your pubic bone. I want you to kind of um, just continue to breathe at a normal pace for yourself, whether it's belly, whether it's chest. And I want you to think about squeezing the pelvic floor and squeezing the lower abs as if you could bring your hip bones to touch each other. This is engaging just slightly into the transverse abdominis, your lower abs. The pelvic floor is not just a clenching of the bathroom muscles, but it's a gentle squeezing and a lifting up. So if you were to squeeze those pelvic floor muscles in and then lift up like they're on a little elevator and inhale, on your exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor muscles in and up, squeeze the transverse abdominis so that hip bones together, almost like a corset around your whole core and that's what I want you to feel when I talk about engaging your inner unit. So we've got the pelvic floor going, we've got the transverse abdominals going, we've got the multifidi, which are the muscles along the spine and the back, and just a real hugging of everything in the core. When you incorporate all of this strong core into your exercises, you will feel really heated up much faster, and you'll feel a really nice strength and um, kind of stabilization throughout the core. So the first thing we're gonna do, thinking about all those things, are just some simple toe touches. So you're gonna bring your hands behind your head. We're gonna keep your, um, the blades of the shoulders are just lifting off, and your gaze is just at the center of your thighs. We're coming up into a 90 degree angle tabletop here. And on your inhale, you're gonna lower the right leg, tap the floor, exhale, come up. Inhale, lower the left leg, tap the floor, exhale, come up. On our exhale, we're engaging through that lower core, the pelvic floor is lightly engaged as well, and we're just squeezing. Inhale down, exhale. So you know when people say belly button to spine? Yeah, that's part of it, but there's so much beyond belly button to spine because we're thinking about our pelvis staying neutral here. We've got a nice, strong pelvic floor, a nice, strong lower abs, and come on down, okay? So that's just a little exercise to show you what I'm talking about when I speak about the inner unit, when I speak about tightening up through the core. Now I want you to kind of find a neutral position with your pelvis. We're gonna pretend that the belly button is 12 and the pubic bone is six. And we're just going to arch and curl back and forth there. Nothing crazy, no real tension here, just arching and curling and then releasing to find that neutral position. Now same thing, right hip down, left hip down. Keeping the knees stable, we're just moving the pelvis from side to side and finding that neutral position. Now right hip to right rib, squeezing up, a little up slip, and left hip to left rib. And back again, a couple more times like this, just kind of being aware where you have imbalances. Maybe you're turned in on one hip, you're turned out on the other, maybe one hip is higher than the other, no judgment. We're just kind of trying to waken up that pelvic area and find that neutral position. Now we're going to go from 12 o'clock at the belly button to 3 o'clock the left hip, 6 o'clock the pubic bone, 9 o'clock the right hip. And just continue to circle there. And one more time. When you come back to 12, reverse the circle. Good. Now hands by your side and just try and find that neutral position. 
For me, I can feel that one of my hips is higher than the other, and I can feel that my left hip is turned in. I'm not judging that, I'm just trying to keep that in mind and try and find where the actual um, neutral position is. Okay, we're going to move into some ab work to heat up. The first thing we're gonna do is 100. This is a very popular Pilates exercise, quintessential actually. We're gonna bring our legs into tabletop, keeping that neutral position with the pelvis. We're going to raise up the head and neck from the shoulder blades, shoulder blades are off, gaze is right towards the mid thigh. We're gonna have our hands just here and we're gonna inhale, exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're using your core and that you're not straining your neck. Your hands are moving like they're slapping water. Inhale, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, and exhale, straighten the legs. Inhale, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep the legs out. Exhale, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And in, knees into the chest. Good job, rolling from side to side, releasing any tension. If you feel like you've used your neck a lot to do that, you can keep your neck down. Or you just wanna think about curling up through the core, bringing the ribs to the hips rather than using the neck. Okay, we're gonna move into a roll up now. So your legs are going to come all the way down, flexing through the feet. I'm gonna scoot up a little bit here because this is something that I, you can start to move on your mat and I just don't wanna be out of the camera. So arms are gonna come overhead. Bottom of the ribs are down. Inhale, engage through the core, pelvic floor, exhale. Roll up to a seated position, sit up tall. Now reaching over like you're reaching over a beach ball here. We're not curling over and just relaxing over the toes. We're reaching and then we're curling back from the tailbone, one bone by bone, all the way down, keeping the legs nice and active. Inhale and exhale. And curling over the beach ball. Imagine you had a seatbelt around your hips here and you are just pulling down one vertebrae at a time because you can't move through those hip, that hip area. Exhale up, sitting up nice and tall, and beach ball over, rolling back down. Do you have two more? And last one. Good, and rolling all the way down. Nice. All right, we're gonna move into our ab series now. So the first thing we're gonna do is a single leg stretch. So I want you to put your right hand on your right knee, your left hand on the outside of your right ankle. Curling up, left leg goes out, and we're just gonna switch. If that's too confusing, both hands to the knee. Totally fine. Good, curl in. Curling into a little ball here. You're gonna extend the arm, extend the leg, reach around and squeeze. Squeeze in the core. Now it's okay, you're gonna imprint the spine here. No problem. Last one. Good. Legs come up to the ceiling. You can flex the feet or point the feet, whatever works for you. Hands are going to come behind the head, curling up here. You're gonna lower the legs just to the point of control. If you start to pop up through the abs, you know you've gone too far. Inhale. Squeezing through the core. Squeeze those low abs. Two more. Good. Left leg stays up, right leg goes down. We're gonna curl up here, elbows are nice and wide, and just switch. Pull, 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 pull. Gentle. Two 
Two more. Here's one, two, and three. Good, knees into the chest and roll it out. Ooh, hello, everything. Okay, we're gonna come up to a seated position here, moving into our roll up. So right hand goes to the right angle on the outside of the leg, left hand to the left ankle. I want you to try and find that point of balance. It's a three point balance here. You're on your sacrum, your sits bones. You should just feel a nice point of balance. We're gonna roll back. I want you to keep the head slightly tucked. You're just gonna roll to the top of your shoulder blades, not slam your head on the ground. Inhale back, exhale up and balance. It's gonna take a couple times to figure out where that point of balance is for yourself. Use your breath to help you and not your legs to kick you up. Use your core. Good, come all the way up, hold your balance. We're gonna bring the right leg up and back. Left leg up and back. Again, keep alternating here. Good, for a challenge, we're gonna keep both legs up if you can. If not, you're just gonna stay alternating here. And if you'd like, you can try to do an open leg rocker. So same deal, we're gonna roll back, inhale, Exhale, come up. Find your point of balance. Couple more. And good. Good, bring those legs in. I'm gonna just straighten out my mat here for a sec. Moving in to our forward spine stretch. So legs are as wide as the mat. This is not a straddle stretch in any sense of the way. We're gonna be working on stretching through the thoracic spine, so the upper back. Arms come out, shoulder height. You're sitting up nice and tall on the sits bones. Inhale, and on your exhale, you're reaching forward, reaching, 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 and rounding back. Sit up nice and tall. Exhale. Again, this is not a hamstring stretch per se. You should feel a stretch in through the hamstring, but we're wanting to think about reaching out and over, rounding over a nice big beach ball, and coming up. Changing slightly. Flat back forward, and flat back up. Flat back. Good, now we're gonna round forward. Straighten, and flat back up. Round forward, so I'm punching you in the lower stomach. And flat back up. Good, now flat forward, and rounding up. Should feel really nice and awake through the thoracic spine there, all up here, where we need to really keep a lot of strength as a dancer. Okay, now we're just going to do a spine stretch side. So I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna shoot it straight up to the ceiling, still sitting up nice and tall on those sit bones. I'm gonna laterally stretch over to the side. I'm going directly over my body. I'm not curving forward or curving back. Stay here for a little bit. Think about really breathing into that right lung. Both sits bones are anchored down onto the ground and coming all the way up. Other side, left arm comes up to the ear and stretching laterally over. Breathing into that left lung. Good, now we're gonna speed this up slightly. So we're gonna inhale here, inhale over, exhale, use the abs to come up. Inhale over. Exhale, use the abs to come up. Inhale, over. Exhale, use the abs to come up. Last one. And up. Good job. Okay, let's head on over to our stomach. Okay, so here we are, prone. We're laying on our stomach. I want you to think about, even though you're on your stomach here, you're going to engage through the abs. So there's a difference in the exercise that we're gonna do in kind of just like laying there and being, you know, at the beach sun tanning and tightening up through those lower abs, through the pelvic floor, using the pubic bone to kind of press into the mat, activating the legs. They're not, they don't have to be completely, you know, working, but just active and stretch into the back of the room. We're gonna keep our hands by our side. Nose comes down to the mat or just hovering above. And imagine that you have a marble on your nose and you're just going to stretch that marble up and bring the marble right back down, okay? I want you to start doing some thoracic lifts with the uh, upper back. And exhale down, pressing the feet into the ground as you lift. Good. On the next lift up, your abs 
they're engaged. I want you to stay there, gaze is just slightly in front of the mat, and we're going to start to pulse the arms, engaging through the triceps. Lifting from the upper back, not necessarily from the lumbar spine, not from the lower back. Last time through, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and come on down. Good, arms are out in front of you, just as wide as your mat here, like you have a little V. And we're gonna do the same thing, engaging through the core. Exhale, come up, and back down. Movement comes from the upper back. You can use your arms as a little bit of resistance and helping you here, but it's more about lifting from the upper back, the thoracic spine. Make sure you're still breathing. People always want to know where to breathe. Breathe when you need some support. Some, most of the time that's on the exertion, but breathe where you need support. Okay, and come on down. Wagging the tail just a little bit, taking out any tension there. We're gonna move into full swan, so hands are gonna come underneath the shoulders, engaging through um, the legs, they're nice and active, take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, you're just gonna peel up one vertebrae at a time, all the way up. At the top here, you wanna think about your pubic bone coming to your sternum, and come back down. So that means there's a slight engagement, engagement through the abs. Think about having a flashlight on your chest, you're shining it forward in front of you, you're shining it up to the ceiling, and coming down. So this is a stretch, however, if you're engaging through the core, it's also a place of work. Now if you're extremely flexible in your back, I again want you to think about moving from the upper back, not necessarily from the lower back. Good, last time. Engage through the abs. Good, and coming all the way down, press back into child's pose. Take the hands over to the left side. And over to the right. Taking nice deep breaths in and out. And back to the center and up on to all fours. Okay, you can just this uh, position to kind of do some shoulder protraction and retraction. So just from the shoulder, we're going to depress and retract. So moving up and down. Just getting a little bit of motion in through that shoulder girdle. You can start to do circles. And switch the direction of your circle. Good. Now go ahead and tuck the right foot back and then the left. And now we're in a plank position. Shoulders are over the wrist, nice and strong through the core. You wanna think about squeezing the lower abs, squeeze the pelvic floor. Core fits in everything that you can. Think about the pubic bone heading towards the sternum. Inhale here. Exhale. Two more breaths at your own pace. Good, now we're gonna bring the right leg in and then the left leg. Have a little hinge here, squeezing through the lower abs. Left leg out, right leg out. Left leg in, right leg in, right leg out, left leg out. And continue to move into these hinges and planks at your own pace. Keep breathing. Good, stay in your plank. One more breath. And exhale. Knees come down. Quick little child's pose here and moving on to a few push-ups. I want you to think about pressing your feet into the mat. We're gonna do some tricep push-ups first. So elbows stay by your side, down here. Good. 
Two more. Good, and press back. For a dancer, it's very important to be able to lift ourselves up, right? When we're partnering, we want to be able to not have the guy do all the work. We want to be able to hold ourselves up, and part of the strength of that alone is from push-ups. So dancers absolutely need push-ups. Wide position with the hands now, and let's do five here. Core is still engaged. Good, and press back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and end this little foundational class with some relaxing poses. So go ahead and roll all the way down to your back. We're gonna bring the knees over to the right side, taking the left arm, bringing it gently across all the way to meet the right arm. Fingertips past the right arm and all the way back. Closing your eyes, just really melt into this relaxing, restorative motion here. Good, when your fingertips come together and just past the right hand, we're gonna start circles. So left arm comes over the head, all the way around, just like you're a giant clock. Moving at your own pace, making sure to breathe, which feels so absolutely luxurious, this stretch. And go ahead and switch directions. Going slow, if you feel any crunchies in your shoulder. Good, and when your hands come together again, take that left hand and move it all the way over to the other side. Okay, same thing on the other side. Knees go to the left, palms are facing up, right hand moves across your upper body and past the left fingertip. And back. Breathing at your own pace. And the next time your fingertips come together, we're going to start those circles, right arm circles over the head and all the way around. We're just a giant clock here. Letting your breath go out naturally, sighing if you need to. We hold everything together so much of the day. Take some time to let something go. And go ahead and reverse the circles. Good, and when the hands come back together, just bring it all the way back onto your back. Let the feet go long. Just wiggling through the hips anywhere you need. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, moving back into that belly breath. into the chest, rolling all the way up, moving to a seated position. And from this position, because you're nice and warm and your muscles are relaxed at the same time, you can move into some stretching of your choice, or you can treat this as a really nice warm up before your dance class. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.